The font menu in your Squarespace website might look a little limiting at first, but there are actually a ton of different customization options that you have built right into Squarespace. My name is Becca Harpain. I'm a Squarespace 7.1 expert, and in this video, I'm going to teach you all about the cool options inside your font menu. Let's get started. So here we are in my demo site, and again, this is version 7.1. You will not have the same options if you're using an older version of Squarespace. But for the latest version, we have two ways to reach our font menu. If you select Design and then Site Styles, you'll get this menu on the right-hand side, and Fonts is the very first option. Now, really quickly, before we get into this, I'm going to go ahead and select Done. And I'll show you if you're on any page on your website, hop into edit mode and on the top right hand side, you'll see this paintbrush that opens up the exact same menu. So here we can click on fonts and the first thing we'll see is our font pack. Our font pack assigns fonts to everything on our website and it looks like it's pretty limiting, but I promise you it's not. Now let's go ahead and click on switch really quickly here so we can see. These font packs are made by Squarespace ahead of time. You've got sans serif fonts that you can pick from. You can also select serif or mixed, which is a combination of, you guessed it, sans serif and serif. And if you click on any of these, like this one, for example, it will automatically update all of the fonts on your website to match that style. Now you'll notice everything on the page has been updated to this Granville combination with the other sans serif font there. It's a great way to quickly update all of the fonts on your website, but don't worry, there are a lot more customization options with the rest of our options in this menu. So here we have our global text styles, and I'm gonna scroll down on this page to show you. I have examples of heading one text, heading two, three, and four paragraphs. I've got a form, I've got buttons. I created what I like to call an elements page that has most of the elements that I'd want to find on a standard page. So I can easily see what the content of my site will look like when I make changes in this font menu. So in our global text styles, we can adjust all the headings, all the paragraphs, all the buttons, and then miscellaneous fonts as well. And then assign styles, which gives us a lot more options. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. So let's go ahead and start with paragraphs. Now picking this font pack, it went with Granville and then Brandon Grotesque for my paragraph fonts. That's the sans serif one in that little preview. So let's click on paragraph because I'd rather have that be Poppins. You'll see immediately I get a lot more options. I've got family, weight, which is how bold the font is, style, normal or italic. We've got line height, letter spacing, text transform will make it automatically uppercase or not. And then underneath that, I've got three paragraph size options here. I've got paragraph one, two, and three. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so we can all see all three of them there. Check it out. When I pull this slider over to the right hand side, just my paragraph three font is going to increase along with anything that shares that same font family, like this option for my form right here. Definitely not the look I'm going for. So let's go ahead and shrink that right back down. There we go. All right, maybe that's a little too small. Let's go with just the solid one REM. Perfect. Now let's scroll up here because I wanted to change this font family. I didn't like the family for this font pack. So I'm gonna click here on family and these are the two fonts for my font pack, but look at this, browse all fonts. One of my favorite options. Clicking here gives you the ability to select any font from the Google font database and most Adobe fonts as well, built right into Squarespace. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Poppins because I love that font. Clicking on that font, all of my paragraph text has now been updated. Pretty cool, right? And again, anything else assigned to that particular font style, like my form right here, will also be updated. So this makes me think, wait a second, my form button looks like this. But these buttons have a different font and I don't like it. Let's change that one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and go back and I'll click into buttons, which are assigned Granville. Let's click into this font family. And because I've already assigned Poppins to something, it'll be right here on the top of my menu. I can click Poppins and I'll be good to go. Now hopping back out of here, one more time, there we go. I wanna mention this assign styles at the very bottom. If there's something in your Squarespace site that you want to assign a font to, uh, let's say for example, how about our site title right here at the very top? If you wanna to change just that font, click on assign styles 
and it will be right here on this list. Now a big caveat here, not everything is in the assigned styles option, but a majority of major things on your website will be. There are things that you might not find in assigned styles, and you can definitely check out some of my other tutorials to learn how to change them with CSS, but most things on your site, like your site title, are gonna be right here, so we can customize the heck out of this one. I'm gonna click on site title, and right now it's assigned the heading font style. If I click this, I can click custom and change it to literally anything I want it to be. Let's hop into font family and we can pick Poppins because we've already got that one. We'll hop back out and that site title is way too big. So let's shrink the size a little bit. Okay, maybe not that small. Gosh, there we go. That looks better. And let's go ahead and make it less bold. I'll take that down to 400 instead of 700. All right, I'm liking the look. Let's give it a little bit of spacing. There we go, lots of fun options there. And it has text transform, so I can make it all uppercase, but I already typed it that way, so it's just fine. We'll go ahead and leave it. I'll go ahead and go back, and we'll call that one good to go. Now scrolling down here, I want you to notice we have header options, we have newsletter block, quote block, form block, and that's about it. There is nothing about a blog or a store because I'm not on that page. Let's go ahead and save our hard work and we are going to scroll down here and click into the blog that I have on my demo site. Now here, we can select site styles or again, just hop into edit mode and click this paintbrush icon. And over here under fonts, if I scroll down to assign styles, now we have options to change the basic grid font for that blog. So whatever page you're working on, hop into edit mode and assign a font style there. You'll have a lot more options than if you try to do it globally from a page that doesn't have this content. So let me show you what I mean one more time. We'll go ahead and select done. Let's hop back to that page we were at before and we'll scroll down. I also have a store down here. So if I select my online store that I have in my demo site here, and I hop into edit mode and I click this paintbrush icon, selecting fonts and scrolling down to assign styles, now we have options to edit the fonts in our product list, which are listed right here. Now ignore the text here, again, this is my demo site, I've been playing around, so this obviously is not the name of that particular product, but let's say we wanna change something like these titles right here, I don't like that style, I'll select list title, and instead of heading, I'll click custom, let's go ahead and assign it to a different font family, we'll pick Poppins, or how about we select browse all fonts, and let's look for one of my favorite decorative ones, lobster. We'll go ahead and grab the lobster font, and just that part of my site will change. Absolutely nothing else does. Pretty cool, right? I'll go ahead and select save, and we'll hop back to that main page that I had before, because I just want to highlight one last time, when I've created a website for the very first time, and I'm ready to change the font styles, I like to create a page that has my headings, my paragraphs, numbered list, bullet point list, a quote block, an image block, a form, Honestly, anything I'm going to have on the website itself on other pages, I like to create a hidden page with this content so I can edit all of the fonts at the same time. Because again, when we hop into edit mode and click on this icon right here, if you select fonts and you wanna change more than just the heading, paragraph, buttons, or miscellaneous, selecting assigned styles, you'll only see the option to change a font that you can see in your site preview over here. To change blogs, we had to be on a blog page. To change our online store, we had to be on the online store page. This right here in assigned styles will only contain the content that's over here. So I like to create what I call an elements page that lists out all of the different font types I could have on my website. So it's really easy to update everything all at once when I wanna get super customizable. But again, if you don't need that much flexibility, just select switch right here and grab any pre-assigned font pack and it will update everything on your website. Mixed is sans serif and serif combined. Serif, you'll get all of those options. 
and sans serif, all of these options. So if one of these works just fine, select a font pack, select save, and you'll be good to go. But if you want to customize just a little bit more, scroll down to assign styles, and down here is where you'll find all of the other options. Click into any particular object and select custom from this drop down menu and change the font family, the weight, the style, which is normal or italic letter spacing, text transform, line height, and the actual size itself. Lots of options there. Whatever you go with, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And that's it for the walkthrough of the font menu in your Squarespace website that has a lot more options than you might think at first glance. Thank you so much for watching this training. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like below or leave a comment. And also, if you want to learn more about Squarespace, this video is just one in my training series about Squarespace 7.1. I would definitely recommend checking out the training that I have about your color menu. There are a lot of secret options in there as well, and I'd love to teach you all about it. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training to check out my other tutorial videos. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.